You're watching Long Distance TV. I'm Paula Mardo. I live in Los Angeles, the city with the largest population of Filipinos outside of the Philippines, and home to a thriving Filipino community. It's where I get to meet people like activist Jaime Guiaga. Originally from LA, he lived in San Francisco in the 1980s, where he came out and explored his identity and sexuality as a gay man. During the AIDS epidemic, he tested positive for HIV, then became an advocate for gay rights in HIV AIDS education for Asian Americans and Filipinos. When I met with Jaime in his home in LA, I asked him what it was like to live in San Francisco at a pivotal moment in history and in his own life. Okay, uh, are we on? Hi, my name is Jaime Guiaga. I am in my golden years, technically. I'm retired, living here in Los Angeles. I think coming out in the early 80s in San Francisco, one of the epicenter for people who thought they were gay, a huge number of people just went to these cities to come out because a lot of other people were coming out at the same time. And, and it was okay, it was celebrated, and I did too. It was not until I actually moved to San Francisco in 81 did I realize that there was a community there. It was just a burgeoning community among Asian gay men and my close core of friends. That's how it was, it was new. We were all coming out, exploring our sexuality, so today it's discussion that's being undertaken by a whole diverse group of people. Whereas I think we were more a select group of people that came together, gay men. So even the whole notion of women or lesbians, I think was not even in my radar. Although that was also happening. Not until maybe the pride parades later in the 80s and during the AIDS crisis because women were a very big part of the response to dealing with the AIDS crisis in San Francisco. I think we were just we were acting out the exploration of this newly found freedom 